Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock in news of Chinese uncertainty roiling commodity markets. A brutal New Year sell-off in oil markets deepened overnight, with prices plunging as much as 5% to new 12-year lows, as more ructions in the Chinese stock market threatened to knock crude into the $20 range. In fact, Chinese shares fell to their lowest level since September yesterday, with the benchmark Shanghai Composite Index losing 5.3% and it's extending last week's near 10% loss. And the Shenzhen market lost more than 6.2%. Losses are spilling over into other markets. However, the recent small fall-off in global demand for air freight may have bottomed out, with cargo volumes growing on month-to-month -month in November. That's what the International Air Transport Association reported overnight. Air cargo volumes were down 1.2% in November 2015 compared with the year earlier. Cargo, total cargo volumes, however, rose compared with October and were higher than the recent low point in August. This activity paints a completely different picture to what is happening in international trade than the shipping measures that were used in the 1990s. Demand for ships is down, but demand for air freight remains high. World trade issues will probably be the focus in Auckland in early February for the formal signing of the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal. A recent World Bank study shows that generally rich countries won't benefit as much as developing countries, except for New Zealand who stands out as a clear winner. Another stark conclusion, those in benefit much more than those who have not joined. And it can be a very profitable business being a regulator. Data out overnight shows that the US Fed paid a record $117 billion in dividends to the US Treasury. That's a lot given the US federal deficit is $440 billion in declining. And back in New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield benchmark has risen in midday trading today and is now 2.18%. Local swap rates fell sharply following the Wall Street lead yesterday, so we may well, see, may well see a rise in today's indications. And the crude oil is still falling and is now just over $31.50 a barrel. Sub $30 now looks inevitable. Given supply will stay high, it is the softer Chinese demand and the stronger US dollar that are driving this market. And the gold price continues to slip and is now at $1,098 an ounce. Much of this is also an exchange rate effect from the rising US dollar. It's been a variable night for the Kiwi dollar, but it starts today at similar levels to this time yesterday. It's now at 65.5 US cents, now at 93.7 Aussie cents, and at 60.2 Euro cents. The TWI is pretty much unchanged at 71. I'm David Chaston. That was 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.